Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to SNG Media. In today's video, I just thought of this so I had to immediately make this video. So in today's video, I'll teach you about bike maintenance. So bike maintenance is taking care of your bike after you're done riding it at the end of the day. So the next time you want to ride it, you can go out and just shred and not have to worry about anything falling apart or any parts uh, being misproperly used, alright? So uh, let's, talk about, let's talk about bikes. So uh, the number one problem, I guess, but number one bike maintenance problem that I have most of the time is bolts coming undone. By bolts coming undone, I mean normally, most most often not, it's either my stem, my headset, or uh, maybe once in a while my crank. So uh, what I have for this, the standard six millimeter Allen key, L wrench, whatever you want to call it, I got here, and uh, I tighten the stem, right? So when I tighten the stem, there's a specific pattern when you go to it, you have to do it in an X so that you properly uh, have each bolt under the same pressure so that uh, the stem closes properly and it holds your bars correctly. So that's very, very important. Uh, the next thing uh, that most commonly happens to my bike, besides bolts coming on, on loose whenever, is my pedals. My pedals, always, I don't know why, just on this bike, that these pedals, they come loose and then they rattle when I like just rub my bike and it's really annoying when you have a loose pedal and you're riding, so I highly recommend taking care of that with a pedal wrench. So this pedal wrench, uh, the standard, standard, standard wrench, is just a normal wrench. Uh, you can, if you don't have a pedal wrench, you can of course use a normal wrench. Hopefully this fits around your pedal. And the difference, and uh, the difference, the way to tighten your pedals is to go, so get on your bike and act like you're riding your bike. You wanna go forward on both sides, because one side of the, I think it's the left side, has reverse, yeah, the left side has reverse threads. So it's going forwards to tighten it, not going backwards. So keep that in mind. Um, do you ever ride your bike and you have squeak, squeaky cranks? I think this all ha this happens to a lot of us. It's really annoying when like when your friends you're riding and you ride next to them like the whole time and you got squeaky ass cranks. I really hate it. it really bugs the heck out of me. So uh, we have two alternatives, right? First one I'm going to show you is not recommended, right? This is just if you're in a jiffy and uh, you really don't care about your bike. So you're going to use WD-40 and just going to spray it in there. Most likely, it'll cause the noise to go away. But that's not really recommended. Um, I'd, I'd recommend all-purpose grease. And I'd take apart your cranks, uh, put, some, put some grease in the little area right there, put some grease right there. And uh, more often times than not, uh, it'll stop the noise. And uh, with this, you should grease every single part on your bike that's metal on metal contact. So when you put it in your forks, I grease it. When I'm putting in uh, cap, uh, stem bolts, I grease them. When I'm putting in my cranks, I grease them. When I put it in my seat, I grease it. The reason why I grease it is so that later down on the road when you need to take your bike apart, it's easier to come apart. Uh, this prevents, um, I forgot what it's called, it's called like, some kind of fusion. I mean, this happens a lot with the cranks. The cranks, the pieces of metal, somehow they fuse to each other and then it's really hard to take apart. So if you grease them, it kind of prevents it, keeps your bike quiet, keeps your bike functioning and uh, lubricated and stuff. And so that's really awesome, right? So uh, the next thing, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but it happens to me quite often when I don't ride a bike for a while. Um, I need to put air in my tire, right? So uh, if your bike sits for a while, I don't know, I don't know the science behind it, but most often uh, air escapes the tube. This is some crazy method. I don't know how it happens, but uh, it escapes. And so uh, before I like to ride my bike, I always like to check the tire pressure. I commonly like to ride street, park. I like to ride everything pretty much. So I try to keep around 60, 65 PSI in my tire. If you ride street, you might want less. If you ride park, you might want more. Dirt, probably a lot more. I don't know, it's all up to you. But I just like to stay around 60, 65. And so how I do that by uh, putting uh, some air in my tires. Um, it's simple, really. You just hook it up, you press it in there, look at the dial, 60 PSI, you're good to go. 65 PSI, you're good to go. Um, yeah, but keep an eye. Don't over, don't over pressurize your tire. Because sometimes tires have specific uh, PSI limits they can go to. I know some tires can go all the way to like 150. That's pretty insane. Some can only go to 50. So just keep that in mind when you're pressuring up your tire. Um, so, another thing that I really can't show you with my hands or anything is a loose chain. Some people like a loose chain if you ride street, if you have a free coaster. Some people don't. I just think the noise really annoys me. So this is when I go into the back, go to the back of the bike. I pull the wheel back, tighten it up. Not make sure not to do it too uh, too tighten, because then you can cause some problems with your drivetrain. Your chain will make some like some like it's not it's like a clicking noise almost. If you ever hear that, take it out, uh, redo it, put it a little bit low, put it a little more loose. You'll probably like that. I sometimes have problems with the seat, but not really. You just gotta tighten it up once. Make sure not to over tighten the bolt because that one real crack. It's probably the weakest, the weakest of all the bolts on the bike. 
I've seen that one crack a lot of times. Um, hub guards, if you have hub guards like mine, there's the zip ties. Make sure the zip ties are always tight because uh, sometimes when the zip ties crack, the hub guard rattles around the bike and it makes a noise. And really, maybe lights. I, my bike probably needs lights. I don't have any lights. I probably should buy, buy a set of those Billy Perry ones or some kind of Sabrosa one, whatever. Because uh, I know you can't get a ticket if you don't have lights on your bike. It has happened. Not to me. I should probably, probably look into that. Um, just maybe keep your bike clean, man. Just keep your bike clean if you like it, you respect it. I don't know. It's all up to personal opinion. There's not really much with the grips. I guess if you have if you have throttle grip, and let's say your grips are a little throttly, there's probably some kind of debris in there, like most likely dirt. Uh, I just go in there with an air press with an air air hose going there, just spray it out. That could also work. Um, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Y'all are awesome. Hope you hope, hope these tips help you out. Next time you ride your bike, you ride it safely. Ride it properly, and you flip and shred. Doses.